Guy channel. The Car Guy channel. My name is Mike Hennessy. This show is all about cars and all four car guys. Get yourself a cold beer. Get yourself a cold beer, guys, because our show is... Oh, God! build this stuff, they build a lot of junk sometimes. You guys want me to be honest with you on the show? and car man of the decade, here's Mike Kennedy. $500. The only thing wrong with this car is the loose nut behind the wheel, but we're going to get that fixed. 18 dollars I'm Mike Kennedy, and you're watching the Car Guy channel. I have an auto repair shop. I've been in the business for over 30 years. You name it, we got it, we built it, we've done it, we do it. We love this car stuff, and I hope you guys do too. We're going to have a lot of fun, got a lot of stuff cooking, so just stay tuned. Welcome to the Car Guy channel. We got a lot of special stuff to show you guys today and some stuff we did last year, some stuff this year. Christmas comes basically once a year and it came again. We were invited to go ahead and do some filming over at a church for a very, very special car club, the Chevrolet Classic Car Club. These people here literally are one of the few clubs out there that participate and give a lot of things back to the community. And we were invited all oh, by, by Charlie, the whole group of people, Dennis Bird and his wife. They do so much work and a lot of good stuff. They give away all sorts of food drive, toy drive. They drive everything and they drive some real classic cars. You're going to see some really, really cool stuff. And they have the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile, but I don't want to spoil surprises. There's a lot of stuff. You guys got a great club and I'm proud to actually be part of your life and part of your show, which is kind of neat. And we do so many things through the holidays when I visit these guys. And I'm telling you, when we go ahead and do an event, especially with the holiday season, we did the San Jose Holiday Parade. We did the Inflation Celebration Show. It was actually new for downtown San Jose this year. I hosted an event, had all sorts of acts, and we had a band there called Reincarnated Revival. Reincarnated Revival was a fantastic band. They showed up last minute, and when you guys see these guys rocking. And the closest thing we got here to Elvis, hey Elvis, how you doing, buddy? We have Elvis's best friend. We got Rick Torres, Bay Area's best. I mean, the best Elvis impersonator. Rick Torres, you rock. You rock the whole complete show. We had so much going on. We got the parade going on. Built this float that was 75 feet long. And thanks very much to C&M Towing. Charlie and his wife Linda loaned us this huge tow truck, 30-foot bed on us, designed for limos and heavy-duty stuff. And... Second year in a row, back to back, win another award. We like winning, we like being involved, and I mean all the volunteers that help with this thing, all the volunteers, hot Tennessee nights, you're hot. There's no doubt. If I'm gonna rename you guys, you guys are hot crew. So two things you don't touch. Definitely don't touch my trophy. Don't touch Elvis. And don't touch that dial. A little this coop, you don't know what I got. I'm going to introduce somebody to you guys, and I'm not going to let you introduce yourself because you'll talk for the whole show. This show's all about me. <laughs> this is Dennis Bird. Dennis, how you doing? I'm doing just fine, Mike. How are you? Good. Boy, You. Uh, we talked yesterday when you came by the shop, and you were hoping for a window, and you yep. got it. That's right. Thank God we're doing this at a church. That's right. We told, <laughs> we told Pastor Ken that that was his duty, was to make sure that he prayed to the man upstairs to give us a, about a 10 or 12 hour window for this show, and he came through. Oh, I was in Oakland last night for an event I was at, and I'm telling you, it was raining cats and dogs, and I'm coming back, and Susan goes, boy, I hope for your friends at that car show. You know, Susan's very passionate about it, and she wants to see it work and do good. Now, hey, quick question. How long have you been doing this? This show was started in 1989 for the earthquake victims of Loma Prieta. And the, before I joined the club, the guys were doing this at Town and Country Village, and of course, as you know, they tore that down to make Santana. No! 
So then we moved over to Cambrian Park Plaza for a couple of years, and that didn't turn out too well. And then we came to the church here, and it's just like, you know, a marriage made in heaven. And a monster show. Hey, you guys are doing really pretty good. We got some, got a, drove around the parking lot quite a bit to see all the cars. And I'm telling you, the weather's a little bit chill, but I'm telling you, guys show up, and you should be proud of that. I think people uh, woke up this morning and saw some sunlight and no rain and said, you know what, it rained so hard last night, we said we weren't coming. But they have the toys and they have the food, and that's what the whole thing is about. It's about the toys and the food. If they don't want to bring their hot rods, fine. Just come with the family cars, bring the toys and the food for the kids and the needy, and we figure our job is accomplished. That's cool. Hey, we got a lot of cars to check out. Dennis, thank you very much for the hospitality of the show. And are we going to go meet the Oscar Mayer girls, or whatever yes, we do, sir. we got to find somebody, or meet them again. We've been all over the place. Yeah. I forget what I'm doing. We've got two new girls this year. We got them. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Take care, Dennis. Thank Bye. you again. Once a year, one time again, we're back at the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. And young lady, tell everybody your name. Pepper Jackie Cheese. <laughs> okay, now, I'm going to stop right there. Pepper Jackie Cheese. Absolutely. We all have our hot dogger names, and this is Nacho Cheese Nikita. Nacho cheese to get. How do you know? Do you girls? I mean, what? How do you get this name? <laughs> we make them up at Hot Dog High. Our training two weeks before we get on the road. Hot dog training. Hot dog training. Now scoot a little closer here so we can get an idea. Go to take the microphone. Just like like you're in charge of the show. I don't do this too often. I you're in charge of the show. Go ahead. Take All the right. I am in charge. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want you to ask people, um, I want you to tell somebody, uh, how do you get this gig? I mean, uh, we talked to, uh, right. I think, Allison last year and Mary Kate. Is that it? Yes. Yeah. So every year, Oscar Mayer recruits at large universities around the country. So they go to about 10 to 12 universities and look for recent college graduates to drive the Wiener Mobiles. So they won't find too many of them on the Car Guy channel. <laughs> <laughs> I just graduated from the University of Texas, and Oscar Mayer came and recruited over there, and I applied on campus. But a lot of people apply online. Over a thousand people applied this year, and only 12 of us were lucky enough to cut the mustard. <laughs> Everything's a hot dog joke, isn't it? We have buns of puns. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how long have you been doing it? We have been doing it since June. It's a year-long position, so we start in June and we'll go until next June. Jackie and myself are in the Southwest for six months, and then in January we get to switch regions, and so we can see another part of the country, and we also switch partners, so we get a, a different experience working with one of our other 12 hot doggers. Now, what are the re what, now there must be some sort of requirements. Take this one away, Jackie. Um, Go all ahead, you have Jackie. to all you have to do to become a hot dogger is graduate college, but they do look for people um, interested in promotions or marketing or advertising. And was there age requirement? Um, anyone can college apply. graduate, yeah. They no requirement. Recent college grads. Is there an IQ requirement? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we do have a chance, guys out there. We do have a chance to drive the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile because there's no IQ requirement. <laughs> so how old are you? I'm 23. 23? 22. 22. So and so you guys are on the, out, out on the road on your own, and um, do you have another crew that goes with you, or is it just both of you? It's just us and Relish Me. <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to get the same questions asked once in a while, but a lot of people ask, what is the chassis? What What is the, the chassis of the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile? It's a Chevy truck. Just a Chevy truck? Yes. Guys, it's a Chevy truck. We're going to have to get these car girls involved in the type of Chevy truck this <laughs> thing really is. You <laughs> 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 Ford V8, Vortec, 3500. She's got it. Now she's going. We got her to be a car gal. We're getting her rocking and rolling. And then one other big question is you guys um, do events all over the state of California and other states to the whole West Coast. How many of these units are out there? There are six across the country. There are six across the country. They go all year round. Yes, all year. But we stay in the Southwest, so we do about five states. Now, is there an Oscar Mayer Wiener song besides the whistle? There's the Oscar Mayer Wiener jingle, and there's the baloney song, and then Pepper Jackie over here even knows the jingle in Spanish. <laughs> okay, we are going to get the Oscar Mayer Wiener girls to sing that jingle without me. All right. Can you do it? I'll just, how about if I be with you? Take the All mic. Right. You guys, I'll be kind of Ready? in the middle. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll Ready? squeeze in. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, I wish I were an Oscar Mayer Wiener. That is what I truly like to be. 
Cause if I were an Oscar Mayer wiener, then everyone would be in love with me. All right. <laughs> Not sure helping us out on I there, said right? Oscar Mayer wiener as far as I got. <laughs> we'll <laughs> practice. <laughs> we'll practice on that. Guys, we've got a lot of stuff to see. It's very nice to meet these gals and see them come to a lot of events like these, charity events that they do today. And the San Jose Classic Chevrolet Club does a great job on handing out all sorts of gifts and food for a lot of people in the need. And it's nice to see Oscar Mayer and all the girls that help and all the staff that come out down there and support them. So, hey, we got a lot of cars to look at, a lot of cars to see, and we got to educate these girls in the car world. Ha, 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 ha.